The three days convention ending with a prayer blessing the drafted policies. With an increase of membership, the party executive is pleased with the input from people in the rural area in East the Highlands province and the development of the party policies. I've seen so many people from the rural areas were consulted, only directly participate, only give input long all in policy making. And PNZ One Nation Party will continue to ensure that people are consulted. Their views are taken, their opinions are taken. Time you may come up in policy. General Secretary John Okamo stating that going forward, the party is looking to increase members and disseminate information of their policies. Papua New Guinea, so that, that our ideologies and the party policies has to be driven into the mindsets of the uh, ordinary citizens of uh, Papua New Guinea, so that they will understand what is uh, the pizza plan for PNG One Nation Party as far as the party is concerned. The drafted party policies are refined from its main four key policies on economic empowerment through agriculture and livestock, natural resource management, basic service delivery, and effective public service and legislative reform. PNG One Nation Party is different. We want to be seen as an institution where all like-minded people, they have uh, issues, they see issues around the country, and they contribute to the uh, formation, uh, formulation of these policies. And this will be the foundation of this party, and we'll carry these uh, policies into any formation of government. And this will be the foundation of the party. This is how PNG One Nation Party will go in the long run. The party will now be looking to set up its regional centers in the country to disseminate information on the party in the hopes to increase membership and refine their research of intending candidates going into the national general elections. Adelaide Sirox Kari National, MTV News, Garoka.